couple of days ago, I did a video where I dropped this titanium pencil on its tip to see if it would keep functioning. I just received an email this morning asking if the titanium mechanical pencil that I make can withstand drops onto its tip. I think I'll see if I can drop it from up there. I will have to wait until tomorrow to see the result of, of this drop because I basically need to go home and like get a pen or something. And After I dropped this pencil from 14, 15 feet, whatever height it was, the white stuff that ended up in the end, I think was basically um, the concrete from the floor. Like I think it just hit, hit the concrete and you know, a little, quite a bit of it kind of went up inside. It was kind of like powdery white stuff. I used like a tiny, tiny little drill bit, almost like a pin to sort of, to poke, to poke it all out, managed to get it all out. And basically that seemed to get it working again. So you can see there that the pencil works. Now I can't see any damage to the tip. If I'm honest, if I look at it, it doesn't look like I've done anything to it. It doesn't look like it's been smashed, scraped or anything. So to be honest, even I'm impressed at how well this pencil did being dropped from that height. So, you know, like I'm going to try and like sort of shoehorn that test into like the sales pitch for this for this pencil because I, I think that's impressive, you know, I think that's worth showing other people about, you know, it's sort of showing what it can withstand. In terms of packing and shipping the titanium pencils and pens, we are mostly done. Got about two hours to go, just sort of packing the, the most of the rest of the rewards. Um, there's a few we can't quite get out for various reasons, you know, people not filling in their surveys, a uh, few things like that. But yeah, so this is Sunday here right now, a couple more hours to pack and then a bit of a bit of a chill out really for the rest of the day I think. As you probably know by now, my aim with these videos is to you know, for me to come across as real as I am in real life, you know, as as accurate as I am in real life what I do, that kind of thing. So over the last week, I've spent quite a bit of time listening, reading, and thinking about free will. And I've not shared any of that yet. You know, I've just been doing it in my spare time, getting fairly obsessed, as I am want to do with most things. When I, when I get my head into something, then I, I get obsessed with it. I started reading a book recently by Sam Harris called Free Will. And in this book, Sam Harris presents the case that there's no such thing as free will. Not, it's basically that free will is an illusion. Not only that, but the even, even the concept of free will is an illusion. Now I can't do it justice talking about it like this. You really need to read Free Will by Sam Harris. And like I'm absorbing, he's got, he's got lectures on YouTube that I'm listening to, that I'm that I'm watching listening to he's got podcasts that I'm listening to he's got articles that I'm reading now the problem is I can't fault his arguments everything I read it just confirms that we don't have free will we really don't we feel like we're in control we feel like we're making decisions but we're really not um I'm not saying there's another force I'm saying it, you know it comes from within us within our brains and the way I look at this one of the biggest things from this is that you know when you when you do something you wish you didn't do and you went, oh, I wish I hadn't decided to do this or do that. Well, that's just a completely pointless and ineffective thing to say because it unfolded how it did. You really didn't have free will and it, it could not have gone any other way. It was, it was determined to go that way, predetermined. Now, for sure, if there's gonna be any comments in this video, you know, below, it's it's going to uh, it's going to be about that I'm sure because everyone I've talked with it about you know because it's in my head all the time especially this last week I've been talking with others about it 
and the resistance is massive. You know, people are like, of course we have free will. I choose to do this. Like, they'll pick up a cup, put it down and say, I chose to do that. And I'm like, mm, you didn't really. Like, something came up in your brain that, you know, it unfolded and that's what you did. You picked up the cup and put it down. You didn't really have free will in doing it. It may seem like you did. And, like, this is something, you like, it's just been, I've spent hours and hours and hours all week, every day all week, thinking about it. I can't shake it off. It's unbelievable. This is likely to be a, an obsession that will pass, like most things, but right now, I can't see it. We really don't have free will.